What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. In the last episode, we helped a healer heal some people, and we also reunited with, or er, rendezvoused with Kenji in his attempt to uh, rescue some hostages that, unfortunately, he himself kind of set up into a bad situation. That was awkward. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to continue heading on over towards our next Mongol camp and um, hopefully taking out some Mongols in the process, as well as possibly, hopefully, getting some progress on our next stance that I would very much like to unlock uh, here in the relatively near future. Like I said, I'm not in the biggest rush for it, but I, I still want to do it at uh, some point here. So let's head on over this way. And uh, yeah, like I said, we got a couple things. We're also going to be meeting or starting a whole new quest line uh, in this episode as well, which is kind of exciting. So uh, let's do it. All right, beachside camp. So this is a minor location, not a major one. So should be pretty simple. We got to find and observe the Mongol leader, who I honestly don't know where. Okay, so the only problem is those archers are going to give me a little bit of issue, especially since they're all wearing helmets. Let's see. I don't actually know where the leader is. Let's see. I actually, I bet. Nope, he's probably down there on the beach. Okay, so. If I play my cards right here, I could probably just don't don't turn around. Nobody noticed, right? Okay, we're fine. Still good? Okay, we got our arrow. Is that the leader? That I don't actually think that's the leader. Hmm. Okay, I gotta be very careful about how I approach this. I'm not seeing him. Because I definitely want that double progress. Well, let's do this. Let's work our way around. And kill this person next since they're secluded in their tent. That'll be a very easy kill. Grab those artifacts and everything we're in. Let's see. Okay, that guy is making me a little bit nervous. This guy should be fine, though, because I do believe he is isolated enough. Just to, just don't make any ruckus, horsey. Everything's fine. I definitely don't want to mount the horse, though, so I'm going to be careful about not doing that. Okay, this guy over here. Okay, that one is looking the wrong way, finally, which is good. Now, I could probably kill him real quick. And then let's worry about this archer next. If possible. Is there anyone looking my way? Actually, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, oh shoot, 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 shoot. Crap, 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 crap. Am I noticed? Okay, there's the leader. I see him. Right in the face. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I still haven't been noticed, right? I think I'm good. Somehow got away with that. Okay, back you go. Back you go. All right, let's go back into the front again. There we go. Full on wind chimes. Everything's fine. Is he back to it? I lo it looks like he is. Okay. Can I observe him? There we go. Thank goodness. We were still able to get that. Awesome. Okay, so now we'll have to kill him, and that'll get us another notch of progress, which is very doable. So let me actually do this. So I'm, I've got my black powder bombs. If I can get a critical strike here, that would be great. Let's do that, and then dodge away and throw that. Ooh, that probably didn't feel too good. Hey, let's finish you off. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so now, let me switch back on over to my bow. Hi there. Okay, it's just the three of you. No, no, come to me. Come to me. Come on. Oh, that was a very valiant effort. Oh, here, try it again. Try it again. Okay, you just whiffed on that one, dude. I have nothing to say about that. Wow, look at that. Three perfect parries in a row. I will take it. 
Okay, that actually ended up going very, very smoothly. Aside from the one hitch where I nearly got spotted and had my cover... Well, I did get spotted, but I almost had my cover blown. I actually ended up getting out of that pretty okay. So, uh, let's do a little bit of, little bit of scouring before we call it quits here. Because I do want all the iron and steel and stuff like that that I can get for upgrades. How am I on supplies? 667. That's not bad, but it could be so much better. It really could be. Is there anything I left in here? Iron. Aha, yes. Definitely want whatever's in this thing. Sticky bomb. Take all those, too. Filled up my arrows. I think I already looked through this tent, but I didn't look through the other one. Yes, okay. That's what I thought. Grab all those supplies. Okay, we are good to go. Now then, uh, looking on our map, next thing, um, let's head on over to this one right here, Blood on the Grass. Like I said, in this episode, we're going to be starting a new, a new major quest line, which is very, very exciting. We're supposed to be recruiting the Straw Hat Ronin. We haven't really talked about them much so far in this Let's Play, but uh, you'll finally get to see who they are in this episode. They are pretty integral to the story, so do be aware of that. Very, very important figures in the story of this game. And no less so than, uh, well, Sensei Ishikawa and Ma Lady Masako and all those people. So, yeah, okay, we got to search the coast near the Kishi Grasslands. Well, this looks interesting. Mongo convoy ambushed. Could be the Straw Hats doing. Attack started here, but there had to be more than one Mongol. You would think at least, right? Looks like more bodies up ahead. I guess we better follow the trail. You know, we kind of, like, already ran through the trail, if I'm being honest. But, uh, uh-oh. Horses, but no Mongols atop them. I'm trying to get away from his attackers. Hmm. What do we got over here? It's a whole lot more dead bodies. You look like a scarecrow. You've looked better too. <laughs> Can I have my hat? You're a mercenary now. Professional warrior. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for your leader. He died on Komodo Beach. You were there too. I lost a lot of friends. We all did. And we can avenge them if we work together. Help me save Lord Shimura. He's alive. The straw hats are hurt. Starving. I can't ask them to risk their lives for one man. Even if you can name your price? Once we free our home, Lord Shimura will pay you anything you want. My men might be interested. Your men? I look out for them. Someone has to. Do we have a deal? I'll think about it. Hold your ground. I always do. Here we go. Standoff time. Let's do it. There we go. And so I get three freebies, although these are all blue armor Mongols, which is, like I said, usually the worst. Come here. Okay, you are just a red, so you're fine. There we go. Get out of here. Here, sir! Gosh, they just have so much more health. Okay, I'm coming to help. I'm coming to help. 
Ooh, that probably didn't feel good. Any more? There definitely are more. Okay, we're coming, we're coming. Have this one! Not who I meant to throw that at, at all. Hold on. Just a second. Here, here, here. Have that, guys. I think I got a few of them. Woo! Okay. Too much of a radius. Whoa, jeez. Okay, I need to go to the wind stance. Whoa. Stop, please. Thank you. I'm here. Here, I'm going to help with one more. Ow! Or not. I said one more. There we go. That that should do it. Can, uh, you all right, Ryuzo? Oh, my gosh. Jeez. This archer is... That is not the stance I meant to switch to at all. Oh, is that a leader? I think that is. Yes. Okay, awesome. So I will definitely take that upgrade. Where are you at? There you are. You need to stop now. Your I think we got him. Improved. And you managed to grow a beard. Have you considered my offer? The straw hats can't save your uncle. We'll be lucky if we survive the week. It's that bad? We're starving. I was out here hunting for food, and I'm returning to my men empty-handed. But not alone. Take me to your camp. We'll figure something out on the road. <laughs> Just like old times. You're doing great. Come on. When was the last time we saw each other? Two summers ago. Lord Nagao's tournament. I looked for you after the tournament ended. Straw Hat saw our duel. They needed a new sword. It seemed like fun. You never visited my uncle's castle. There wasn't work there. I would have helped you become a retainer of Clan Shimura. You only had to ask. I made my own way. Another wagon. Might have something we can salvage. Empty. Samurai! Samurai! Was this your wagon? Yes, my lord. Mongols stole my horse. Took my rice. You're lucky that's all you lost. Which way did the Mongols go? Toward Fort Ohira. Damn it. Take refuge at the Golden Temple. Warn others to stay off these roads. Yes, my lord. Let's keep moving. My camp's not far. Yeah, but if we knew where they went, we could actually go get that rice. Oh, okay. Fine, then. I meant what I said before. Help free Lord Shimura. He'll grant you anything in his power. What's he got the power to give? Name your price. Free sake for life. Is that all? A place to drink. Big enough for all my men. Be serious, Ryuzo. I know you want to be more than a mercenary. It's been three years, Jin. Things change. It can't have been easy keeping the Straw Hats together after Komodo Beach. How did you do it? I convinced them nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. I used to think so. But it's starting to feel like a lie. How many men do you have? We're down by half, but still enough to call ourselves a small army. Why? That peasant said the Mongols stole his rice and went to Fort Ohira. You think they're hoarding food there? Possibly. Do you have an idea? The beginning of one. Easy, Shinzo. It's me. He's here! You use those back! <laughs> About time. I don't see any food. Who's the samurai? Men! This is my old friend, Lord Sakai. Yuzo told me you're starving. I'm here to help. You didn't find food. We have a plan. Raid Fort Ohira and take back the food Mongols have stolen from our people. Raid a fort? They'll kill us! Give us a moment. Just come with me, Jin. We should have talked about your idea before telling my men. I wanted to give them hope. That's my job. I meant no disrespect. It's fine. Ah. 
Through here, Jin. If you ride with the straw hats, you have to look the part. I've got a spare set of armor that should fit. You better not have lice. Never letting me forget that, are you? Spare armor's in the chest. <laughs> You're not as handsome as me, but it's not bad. <laughs> we should check the fort's defenses. Look for weak spots. My men will handle that part. Then we have a deal? Get us that food at the Fort Ohira. And we'll get your uncle away from the Mongols. Thank you, Yuzo. Just remember who's in charge of the straw hats. I will never dream of replacing you, my friend. Give us a head start. We'll meet you at the old cemetery. See you there. So we just got free armor out of that. I will take it, although I want to know what this armor actually does and what sort of benefit it grants us. And maybe I can upgrade it too? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, still hardening technique points though, I'm not going to spend any of those just yet. I would like to at least get maybe four or five before I start thinking about it. Uh, I gotta stop doing that. Looking, actually, I actually gotta look and see what it really does. Um, reduces enemy detection speed by 10%. Moderate increase to melee damage after leaving Papa's grass while crouched. Enemies will be much slower to detect you. Okay, that is actually in interesting. Also, I can fully upgrade my samurai clan armor, so that's also interesting as well. Um, hmm. Let's actually see, what do our upgrades actually look like? Do we get to see this at all? Not really. Interesting. Well, all right. We're going to stick with that for now. Um, are we going right this second? No, it's actually, oh, it looks like it's over here. Okay, well... I want to still take care of these, but we don't have a whole lot of, uh, too much of an episode left. You got like another 10 minutes. Um, you know what? I to ask you something early. Did you? I might have an answer. How did you survive the invasion? I almost didn't. A peasant pulled me from the battlefield. She nursed me back to health. <laughs> you always were lucky. How did you and your men escape? We ran. Do what you need to prepare. I'll see you at the old cemetery. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. We actually haven't been back to, like, the Golden Temple or anything for quite some time. Um, just trying to look and see what sort of locations we can actually, like, fast travel to. So, Beachside Camp is honestly not that far away from where we need to be. Um, this is what I'm going to do first. We are going to head back to the Golden Temple. And uh, let's start seeing when and where we can spend things. So I'm just going to ignore this lady for now. Uh, let's grab ourselves a gift to see how much that actually gets us. Quite a few supplies. I will take that. Could look and see what bow upgrades can I get. Hmm. Couldn't. So I can't do both. That is a pretty nice upgrade, though. So we got a half bow upgrade as an option. We also obviously have armor upgrades as an option. And then we even, I believe, have a sword upgrade as an option. But I think the next thing that I was going for, if I'm not mistaken, was actually a Tonto upgrade for assassinations. Mm, goodness. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go for that. Nice upgrade there. So we were at, now we have full speed, super fast assassinations at our disposal. Um, if I take a look, we also still have... We can still technically upgrade our half bow, which is good. Um, I want to say that that's going to completely rob us of our supplies. Take a look at our armor, though. Can I do both? No, I can't. I can't quite do that. Hmm. Let's go with this, since we're going to be wearing this armor for a little bit. And then I guess we can work on getting our next Ronin upgrade immediately after the fact. And that leaves us with... We can technically get more armor upgrades, but I think I'm going to preserve what supplies I have for the time being. And now, let's. I'm going to fast travel back all the way over to the beachside camp. And we're going to make our way up here and take care of whatever this is. So, see you there in a second. Okay. Horsey, it's with me. Alrighty. 
So this is going to be kind of fun to use. Now, obviously, we don't have the benefit of absorbing any sort of damage that we take from enemies, which is going to make this a lot more fun. But we also should... Oop, hold on. I definitely want these things. Um, we definitely, though, oh, uh, should still have a major advantage in being a lot harder to detect in certain situations. So there is that. If I can just kind of stay out of everybody's way, I should be fine. But where is this little uh, undiscovered location? Did I have? Did I mark it? I thought I marked it. Evidently, I did not. There we go. That's much better. Grab some flowers on the way, too. I have a lot of flowers at this point. I could definitely start going after some more cosmetics. I know I've been grabbing so many over the last couple of episodes. But it's also worth saving, actually, because there's going to be a point later in the game where you find something a lot more useful for them than just the, the standard merchants. Survivor camp. Oh, okay. I see. Speaking of standard merchants, we also have someone we can talk to as well. So why don't we do that real quick? There's a man, my lord, swinging his sword, slashing the air on the beaches of Sutsu. Another survivor? Or a bandit? I don't know, but I think he was crying. That sounds disturbing. Can't be far from here, can it? Oh, all the way down here? Interesting. Okay, well, that's definitely something we're going to want to take care of. I think we'll probably save that for the next episode. Why don't we give a... Let's have a little conversation with the trapper first. Uh, since there wasn't one at the Golden Temple. So, I am full of my arrow capacity upgrades. I think Black Powder Bomb is a really good decision, if I'm being honest. Much more than Kunai and Sticky Bomb. So, we're going to do that. And, uh... Golly, so we're next to here. We got this Empty Baskets quest that I suppose we could get started on. So why don't we do that next? And then I think in the next episode we'll follow up on that little tip-off we got about the man swinging his sword on the beach. Excuse me, yellow birdie? Distressed woman, huh? Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. What happened? Bandits, my lord. They took my food. <laughs> Every last scrap. Do you see where they went? Northeast, into the woods. If I find them, they'll regret stealing from you. Please don't harm them. They're just as desperate as I am. No promises. Yeah, unfortunately, lady, that's not really how that works, but... We'll see what we can do. This I, I imagine this quest is going to be a pretty simple one. Pretty fast one, I would hope. But uh, also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off this mask here just because it really is not fitting of the whole get-up, in my opinion. Okay, so, Kage, you just appeared randomly on her... Oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, okay. I Buddy, I, I cannot... I cannot ride you if you are stuck inside the wall. Here, come here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Whew. I've never seen that one before. Now then. Let's head on. I mean, I've definitely seen Kaga get stuck in weird things, but never like half in a wall to the point where I can't mount him. Where are they? Hmm. There's got to be a trace of them around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Just what I thought. Come here and fight! I don't know if there really was an option for me to actually talk this out, but, you know, I'm thinking about it. Maybe there, maybe I should have at least checked. But, oh well. Sorry, dude. You have to go. Okay, we good? I think we're good. Well, actually, is there a possibility that... I don't know, maybe these weren't the only ones? I don't know, we'll see. Hmm. Stolen food. Oh, here we go. Right. Must be the food they stole. It's definitely it. Alright, well, let's just get back to her now. Hopefully she's okay. And didn't get herself in any trouble. Come here, Kage. We gotta go. This was exceedingly simple, if I'm being honest. You know, assuming we don't come back there and, like, her house is on fire or something. 
which is prone to happen in these sorts of side quests. It's like, oh no, someone's dead. Quest over. Give me technique point. <laughs> I'm oversimplifying it, obviously, but there we go. My lord, you're back. I have your food. Rice. I don't remember the last time I had rice. You said they stole it from you. Please, for forgive me. You lied to me. Bandits don't deserve food at a time like this, my lord. Besides, I ask you not to hurt them. They gave me no choice. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have lied. I still would have helped you. I won't do it again. I promise. <laughs> Your lie just killed five people. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why does this happen every time? It's just like this. It's a, this like huge major thing, and then oh no, subversion of expectations. This NPC is actually a terrible person. Oh, come on, man. Come on. I'm taking your supplies because of that. You suck. And I'm not doing this to your door. All right. Let's uh, let's get the heck on out of here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. In the next episode, I'm going to meet you guys over at Aoi Village. And we're going to go and fi figure out what the heck is going on with this fella down here. I also have a fast travel point to get on over here to this location. We can hopefully also continue the tale of Ryuz Ryuzo. Uh in the next one. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very much and I will see you all then.